We'll give it just a few minutes to give people a chance to jump on the stream. You guys ready? I'm ready. Doing some guillotine chokes. Some standing guillotines. Get some guillotines for the guard. See anybody on there yet? There we go. Looks like we got people on there. Yep. All right, Grace is on. That means the stream is, is visible and people can join. Welcome to class, everybody. I see people jumping on. All right, guys, remember to sign in using the link that you should have received about 10, 15 minutes before class. If you didn't receive that link, please let me know and I will make sure that you get it. Um, other than that, you guys ready to get started? Yep. All right, everybody at home, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna start off with some jumping jacks, get everybody warmed up. Why? Because we can't do laps in the living room. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. We're going to do sets of 20. Linda, Linda you're going to count the first one. Everybody at home, get ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Good work, guys. Good work. All right, we're going to do one more set of 20. Same with you guys at home. Aaron and Mer Miriam, welcome. Ever, you ready? Yep. And go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. Perfect. Very good. And if you were here yesterday, this will look familiar. If you weren't, we're going to demonstrate it again. I call them safety sprawls, but we are not sprawling. We're not flopping ourselves on the hard floor at home. What we are going to do though, Edward, will you demonstrate this one? Yep. He's going to take two hands on the ground and then he's going to kick his feet back and then he's going to stand back up. All right. One more time. Can you back up a little right there? Perfect. Hands on the ground, feet go back and comes back up. All right, everybody at home, get ready. You're going to do these as well. Sorry. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Yep. And go. We're all going to do 10 of these. Two. Jaden. Jocelyn, welcome. Three. Jillian, welcome. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good work. All right. Next thing we're going to do, it's almost the exact same thing. So we're still going to put our hands on the ground, kick our feet back. But then when we come back up, we're just going to jump up. All right. You guys ready? How about you guys do these separate? All right. We'll do two sets. Linda, you do the first 10. Everybody at home, get ready. Do 10. Who else we got with us? Welcome, Brody. Good to see you, buddy. Get set. Hands on the ground. And go. One. Yep. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job, Linda. Those were perfect. Good work at home, too. Give them a second to catch their breath. Some of them are doing them all with you. All right, you ready? Yep. Everybody at home, get ready. We're going to do one more set of 10. Remember, we're not sprawling. It looks like a sprawl, feels like a sprawl, but we're not smashing our chest into the ground. Edward, get ready. Go. One. Two. Next thing we're going to do is our standing base. All right, everybody should remember it. I'm going to put one hand, foot on the ground, one hand on the ground, lift myself, put that foot behind me, and come up. All right, everybody at home, get ready. We're going to do 10 of these. You guys ready? Yep. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
Welcome, Sunny. Who else we got there? Two. Welcome, Elise. We're just doing some warm ups. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Very good, very good. All right, so I see a bunch of new people on the stream today. So for the things we're gonna be doing next, we're gonna need a prop, maybe a parent. We use Jiu Jitsu Bear. Um, they can also do it to each other. Maybe you can talk your parents into doing it. But uh, if you don't have something like this, maybe pause the stream and go find something you can choke. If you don't have a teddy bear, you can put a gi top on a pillow, get creative. We're just gonna need something we can do some uh, guillotines and things too, okay? All right, last warm up we're gonna do, while everybody's taking care of that, we're gonna do some BJJ sit-ups. All right, we're gonna be right here in case you forgot what those are. I'm laying flat on my back. I'm gonna sit up and put this hand on the ground, and then I'm just gonna lift my hips into the air. And then I come back down, and I'm gonna sit up, and each one of these is one. All right, and you guys at home are gonna do them along with Edward and Linda, get ready. Welcome, Lily. Ready? Get set. Go. One. Molly, it's good two, to see you, kid. Up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Perfect. Good work on the first one. We're going to do 10 more of those. All right. Get set. Everybody home, get ready. We're going to do 10 more of those. All right. And go. Good. One. And I'll tell you what. Can you guys do these super slow-mo for me in case anybody's struggling with them? All right. They're going to go real slow in case you're having trouble at home. Go ahead, guys. Good. Very good, guys. Very good. Sorry about the rocky camera. Ten. We don't have a great studio in here. You can tell we're doing it in the in the TV room on a very small mat. All right. Next thing we're going to be doing is our standing guillotine. All right. So all Edward is going to do is his sister's going to come over. All right. He's going to grab her head, pull it down into his armpit, and then he's going to grab his hand underneath. And then he's going to lift his hands up like he's zipping his coat. All right, go ahead. Boom. Perfect. And if we're practicing this with a bear or a prop, it's still the same thing. I'm just going to get that head. Hands underneath. That hand's going to grab. And I'm going to squeeze. All right. You guys get ready? Yep. Everybody at home, get ready. If you have any questions or you need more information, let me know in the comments. Get set, guys. Camera's going to be slightly wobbly while I make an adjustment. Ready? Yep. And go. How many would you like this to do? Uh, five each. Perfect. Good. All right. And real quick, I don't know if you guys at home notice what Edward's doing. If you're advanced and you do this a lot, show him what you were doing. He was doing it to both sides. So he going to his left side. And then you pass it to your right side. There you go. And that way you're not just doing the same move over and over. You're actually learning two separate moves. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Linda, go ahead and do five. Everybody at home, you're going to do five more. And go. Yeah. There you go. Good. Perfect. Nice and slow. You can go a little rougher on Jiu Jitsu Bear. That's what we call our prop, in case you haven't watched before. 
Good. Edward, can you do five more? I'm going to keep talking. And one of the advantages of training with a prop like this and not a human, you can really get that squeeze. You can really squeeze it. You, know, you can't squeeze your friends like that. Good. Nice. Very good. Very good. Perfect. Now we are going to make a slight adjustment. Can you guys go to the ground for me? Yep. All right, now we're going to just be doing that same move from the guard. All right, Edward, I'm going to have your head facing them for me, please. Perfect. In the guard. All right, and just like at the beginning when we did our jujitsu sit up, that's how Edward's going to start. He's going to open his feet, he's going to sit up. Yep, and see, he's in that exact same position. Now he's just going to grab Linda's neck with his armpit. Yup, and then he gets his grip. He's going to lock up his feet, lay on her head, and squeeze. Good. All right, one more time, son. Can you guys move this way a lot? Like come about this way, Linda? You come right here. Edward, you come this way. You guys are a little off camera. Good. All right, so step one, he opens his guard, puts his feet on the ground. He sits up just like his jujitsu sit up. He grabs her neck with his armpit, gets that grip, and squeeze. Perfect. Now, if you're doing this with a jujitsu bear, it's gonna be a little harder. All right, can I borrow this, sir? It's gonna be a little more difficult, but you can still manage. You have him in your guard, you sit up, you grab him with your armpit, get your hand, get your grip, lock your guard, lay on his head and squeeze. All right, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's better than not doing anything. So again, I come up, grab, and squeeze. All right, like I said, if you have any questions, let us know. You guys ready? Yep. Everybody at home ready? We're gonna all do seven of these. You're gonna do seven each. If you hear me talking, you guys just keep going. Don't worry about it. Okay. Lays on her head. And perfect. Very good. And grabs it, lays on her head. And squeeze. So remember when you're doing this, guys, you lay on their head. Put their head on the ground. Perfect. on her head and squeeze. I have a question. Yes, sir. Why is it important to lay on her head? Ah, it makes it harder for him to escape. That's a very good question, Edward. Can you do one wrong for me? Fall this way. Oh, see, that gives her a chance to pull her head out. Versus, go back, sir. Now lay on her head. See how much harder that makes it to get her head out? Very good. Perfect. All right, do a couple more for me, guys. I think I seen Ben jumped on there. Welcome, Ben. Good, get ready. And guys, remember, if you missed any of this, once the stream ends, you can go back and watch what you missed the class. And you can also find it on YouTube. These usually go up the next day or two on YouTube, and they're just on Top Level Martial Arts. That's the name of our webpage. Good. Linda, remember to lay on his head. It's your pillow. Or not the name of our webpage, the name of our YouTube page. Good. Relock your guard, lay on his head, and choke. Very good. Much better. Very good. Very good. Let's do this one? Yep. Going on camera just a tad bit. And then also, if you weren't here at the beginning of class when I mentioned it, if you did not receive a link to sign into class, make sure you let me know. And otherwise, that's how you log in to get class for credit today. 
Perfect. That was Very awesome. good. Was that good? Yeah. All right, awesome guys. How are we doing on time? Very good. Can you have a seat with me, sir? Yep. All right. So guys, I wanted to also talk about a parent strike today. I wanted to talk about discipline. All right, and the reason it made me think of this is it's come up in our house in the last few days. Um, a lot of you guys are doing, I imagine all of you, are doing all your schoolwork online right now. Is what you guys are doing, right? Yeah. Yeah, and, and I know it's different than what, you, what you're used to, but it's equally as important. It still counts the same amount, and you're still going to need to know those things for next year. So that's what I want you to focus on, is not waiting till 10 o'clock on Sunday night or 11.58 to turn in those assignments. Make sure you're staying on top of them, being disciplined, doing the right thing even when your parents aren't telling you to do it, stay on top of your homework, okay? All right, other than that, great job everybody. Um, and then we'll be back here tomorrow at five o'clock. Um, the class starts at exactly five, um, and then we'll see you then. Thanks for watching, and great work everybody.